So today I'm going to be showing you guys some things that I thrifted for um, Poshmark. I am fairly new on to Poshmark as a reseller. Um, I started in the beginning of October. Um, so it's still kind of still trying to figure it out, kind of figure out what um, items are good to get. I've been watching a lot of other resellers on YouTube um, and I've been loving it. So I figured that I would go ahead and um, make a video of a couple of things that I recently thrifted in the past um, couple weeks. And all the items will be listed in my Poshmark closet. Um, some of them are already listed and some of them should be listed um, no later than this weekend. Um, so don't forget, if you do like any of these items, um, go ahead and check out my closet, which will be linked below. And without further ado, let's get into some of the things that I found. All right, so one of the first things I got to show you guys um, are a pair of Adidas. Um, these are in really good condition. I uh, got the stripes down the side and they have the zip ankles. Um, they are size lar youth large, um, but they fit me and I'm typically a size small, I'm 5'7", so I'd say they would fit an adult small as well. And they're really great um, navy blue color and they are the Clima Cool. So these I thrifted at the bins, so that was a good find. Okay. This is another item from the bins. This is just a Lauren, Ralph Lauren sweater, size medium. Just a classic black. And then it's got these really um, cute little gold buttons. And just like a nice classic, simple knit black sweater. Um, and that, this is up in my closet already. This is an Anthropology Doletta sweater top. I'm not really sure if it's like, it's kind of like a sweater knit material, but it's not super thick. Um, it's like a three, a short three quarter length. And then it's got this like fun um, layered neckline and it's pretty fitted. So it's a size small, but it's like very fitted size small. Um, and that I just got from the regular Goodwill. This, also from my regular Goodwill, this is another Lauren, Ralph Lauren piece. This is 100% silk, and it's just this really pretty um, cream cardigan, just button up, and it is so nice. Like, look at that knit detailing, and it is so soft, and it's silk, 100% silk, so it's super nice, and it's also got the detail along the sleeves, just really pretty. Um, okay, next, um, these I got from the Goodwill bins. They're just a pair of Hollister pants. They're navy corduroys, which I thought was fun for fall. Um, I really like corduroys in the fall. I don't know if it's a big trend, but I think they're fun to wear in the fall. I really like them. So I figured I'll just try them. Um, I don't really know how well Hollister does, but they're from the bins, so I didn't pay very much for them. So even if I just sell them for 12 bucks, I'd be fine. Okay, another pair of pants from the bins. These are American Eagle jeans. Um, honestly, I'm gonna try them on and see if they fit me first. I just put them in the wash because they really did not smell very good. Um, and if they fit me, then I'm going to keep them. Um, but if not, then I will sell them for like $18, $15, something like that. Um, they're just distressed denim. And then they also have the distressed ankles, which I really like. Um, so, yeah, these are just super distressed. Even the butt pockets are distressed as well. Um, and I just like this. Um, I recently lost a pair of jeans, um, got ruined, and so I was looking for some new ones. So if these fit me, then I'll keep them, but if they don't, then they will be up in my closet. Alrighty, this is a loft sweater. This I grabbed from the bins, and it's just a nice, really, I thought this was a really pretty color for the holiday seasons coming up. Um, it's super soft. Um, it does have a little bit of pilling, which I'll just have to pick off. Um, 
after it went in the wash, it kind of picked up a little extra fuzz. So I'll just clean that up, no problem. And it's really soft, really nice. Um, I believe this is a size, yep, yeah, size large. Um, and I just thought this was, the knit was fun for um, like Christmas time kind of color. Alrighty, some other stuff from the bins. These are just a pair of distressed jean capris. Um, I picked them up because they're a bigger size and I heard that picking up bigger sizes um, is good to have in your closet. So they're size 14 and uh, the style I thought was nice with like the distressed and a little bit of the distressed ankle. So I don't know how fast or how well these will do, but I figured I would try it because I don't have a ton of bigger sizes. So I thought I would give it a shot. This is also from the bins. Um, this is just a Lucky brand. Um, just a graphic tee says Born to Ride. I know stuff like this is popular right now. Um, I feel like it might be better on Depop, but I haven't gotten into Depop yet. So we'll see how it does on Poshmark. Um, but it's just kind of like a, a blackish gray color with this Born to Ride in America kind of. Um, graphic it does have one little flaw which I noticed when I got home but it's like barely noticeable um, just a very teeny little hole on the back hem which obviously I disclosed in the listing and I'm gonna accept a, a, a lesser price for it if someone offers um, because of that obviously um, also from the bins oh, this was a really good find I thought it's inside out um, this is a knit sweater from Zara, and Zara's super trendy, um, popular brand. Um, so here's the tag, Zara Knit, and it's just a really nice white cream cable knit sweater, and then it's got zippers on both sides of the sweater, and this has just a little bit of pilling, um, mostly on like the inside, but I'll pick that off. Um, otherwise it's in really good condition. And in some lighting, I feel like there might be a little discoloration along the inside neckline, but then in some lighting, I don't see it. So I really don't know if it's my eyes or if it's really there, but I listed it. Um, either way, um, it's on the inside, so it doesn't like take away from the quality of the sweater. Um, so that, I believe listed in my closet, uh, closet already. Um, Alright, another, another t-shirt from the bins um, is just this Pink Floyd graphic tee, like a burnout graphic tee, uh, really lightweight. Um, and it is just by Pink Floyd, it's size small. I figure for how light this is, and it's from the bins where you pay by the pound, um, I would give this a shot. Um, it's kind of like a trendy thing to have a band tease, so I thought I'd give this a shot, see how it does. Honestly, it probably only costs like a couple of cents because of how really lightweight it is. And then next, I just picked up a couple of vintage scarves. Um, I know it's like a, a pretty, I've seen a lot of fashion bloggers do the scarves like tied up in their hair, or like around their ponytail or up around their head. So I thought that I would give these a shot because again, they are literally almost weightless. So I probably paid like pennies for these. Um, this is vintage, really pretty dark floral pattern, which I think is beautiful for fall. Um, I love this. Um, it's super soft. It doesn't have a tag, so I don't know if it's silk, but it feels really nice. Um, so this would be super cute, just like, you know, the ponytail, tie that up in the fall. Um, so these, I'm not really sure where to list them. I did a little bit of research. Um, I'm hoping to get at least $10 for them, and I think I might make a post and like bundle all of them together and see if, um, like all four for 30 maybe. So we'll see. I haven't quite decided what um, I'm gonna do, but I think this one might be one of my favorites. I really love this floral pattern. Alrighty, then I got another one here. 
this is another um, this is vintage this is Ann Klein that's vintage um, again some really nice pretty colors for fall um, this one is a bit different shape this one's more of like that typical long rectangular scarf shape um, so it's kind of could be used as a neck scarf but also really easily could be like wrapped around your head but I'm not really good at that so I'm not gonna demonstrate um, so there's that one another one this is another great one that has like a I, this has no brand and this one feels silk um, it's super super nice um, and then again the pattern is just really good for fall just love these dark orange and brown colors this would be super cute tied up around your hair uh, around a ponytail um, I really love this this is so pretty and then the last one another great one this one's a fun color for fall or for summer um, this is just that trendy yellow mustardy color and this is another long one and this is vintage um, there's no like brand but the tag is definitely old um, and this is just a really fun stripey yellow one I really like this one too I think this one and the first one are probably my favorites I really love these so I figured I would give this a shot if anybody's sold like vintage stuff um, scarves like this before let me know any tips you have um, but I figured I'd give it a shot for probably pennies how much they cost Alrighty, I just have a few more things. Okay, this is from the regular Goodwill. Um, this is just a Lucky Brand top, and this is really pretty. It's just um, like a lace top, so the sleeves are laced, they're three quarter length. And then the top itself is like a sheer lace, so you'd have to wear a cami under it, but it's really pretty. It's got like that polka dot lace and then a floral lace so this is really pretty um i have another lucky brand top in my closet and it's sold within like two hours so i figured i would give another shot because the style is really pretty and um i just think it's a really beautiful top um next let's see so this is a vintage sweater it's the vintage like grandpa style sweater from the 80s there's the tag um, and this is I really like it's super soft it's not itchy at all like a lot of old sweaters are um, it's super fun black and white geometric print um, oversized I really love this I think the print is so fun I love the collar and there's the bottom of it so just really fun this is super soft and I believe it's a size large, um, but it fits like perfect oversized on a small or medium. And it's super great. So this is um, probably from the 80s I would guess, from the pattern. It's in pretty good condition, it's fuzzy, so it's kind of like got a little bit there, but it, you really, I mean, it's vintage, so it's in, it's in great condition for being vintage. Um, and I'm not really sure to list the set. Um, I think I'll try around 25 and see what it does there. But I thought this was super fun. And honestly, I might wear it once before um, I sell it. Um, just a few more items. This is from the regular Goodwill. Um, this is another loft sweater. I picked this one up though. Um, I probably wouldn't normally pick up loft from the regular at Goodwill prices. I pick it up from the bins because it's so cheap at the bins. But um, this was new with tags, so I figured um, it'll probably do a little better. So this is loft and it is new with tags. And the style is really cute. So this um, sweater has like a little, um, so there, okay, sorry. So. It's gray, it's got a bell sleeve, which is really fun. Like that's super cute. And then the back has this little cutout with the cross um, along the back. And this is super nice. Again, newest tag still even has its like sticker on it. Um, so I figured I would try this out and um, it's super, super nice. Uh, I thought this was really cute and trendy for fall. Um, oh. 
One thing that I forgot from the bins, I picked up these um, boots. They are like a purpley brownish color, um, lace up combat boots. They are leather, um, they're size 10 and they're from Nine West, which is um, an okay brand. Or, well, it's a nice brand, but it's not like the best like resale value um, from what I've um, noticed, but they are really fun, like good um, style for fall. And I thought the color was really great and they are all leather. They are in pretty good condition. The one shoe does have some scuffs on it, which I marked in the listing, uh, but otherwise they are in good condition. And I just thought these were really fun for fall. They'd be perfect with jeans and a sweater. And um, so yeah, I, I just like them and I couldn't leave them behind. So figure for Goodwill Bins pricing, it doesn't hurt to give these a shot. And then the very last item is probably the item that I'm most excited about. Um, this is a 100% silk tank. Um, it is from Tibby, which is a brand I just learned about. I'm, obviously I'm still new, so I don't know all the top brands, but I watched somebody else's video um, and they mentioned this brand and then I was going through the racks and I saw it and I was like, oh, I heard that. And then I saw that it was new with tags and then I looked up like what a comparable price of this would be and this top would be around like $160 um, originally. So this is um, a really good find um, from the Goodwill. Um, so this is a, a new with tags, Tibby 100% silk tank in Robin's Egg Blue and it's super pretty. Um, the back has just like a cross halter style and then a keyhole cut out. It's a size two and it's just really pretty um, flo lo loose flowy tank and um, great condition just needs to be steamed or dry cleaned um, but really honestly probably my favorite thing that I found um, just because it's new with tags and it's uh, such a high-end brand. Um, so that's everything that I picked up recently. Um, so all this stuff um, is either in my closet right now or will be listed um, in the next couple days. And so go ahead and don't forget to check out my Poshmark closet. Um, that will be linked below if you're interested. And um, I will probably put out another video coming up soon, um, kind of like one of those what sold videos in my first month. Um, so if you're interested in that, go ahead and subscribe and give me a like and I will see you in my next video.